Now, we are going to look at our last coverage and it is known as CIDR value and that is the classless interdomain routing. These are the values we are going to have for us to see our new subnets through this table. Subnet mask. C I D R value. Then borrowed bits. So in class A, the default subnet mask is. 255.0.0.0 So this one is default subnet mask for class A. Now, when I have the default subnet mask for class A, the CIDR value at class A is 8. And why 8? Because it's only the first octet that is being used to its maximum. Alright? All the bits are used and all the bits are used. So here, the CID value is 8 and the borrowed bits are 0. Now, let us see another subnet mask. Another subnet mask is 255.128.0.0. And what does that mean? It means that at this level the CID value is 9 and the borrowed bits are 1. And what about 255? dot one ninety two dot one ninety two means dot zero dot zero at this subnet mask we understand that we have so far and the borrowed bits are two then two five five dot two two four Dot zero, dot zero. This will mean that the CIDR value is slash 11 and the borrowed bits are 3. Subnet mask 255. Dot zero, dot zero which will mean that the CI data value is 12 and the borrowed bits are 4. Now when you continue, at least therefore you'll be at slash 16 and that will mean that you have borrowed up to 8 bits. And this will introduce us to class B because this will be under class A. Now, under class A, it will go up to 15. And at class B, we are seeing the default subnet mask for class B is 255.255.0.0 which is default subnet mask for class B. Now, when all the octets are full, the first octet is full and the second octet is now full. 
Now that becomes, we automatically go into class B. And the default subnet mask for class B is 255.255.0.0. And that will mean that the CID error value for class B255.255.0.0 .0 will be 16. Now, let us we still convert and see at this level. So we say 255.255.128.0. And this will be slash 17. And that will mean the borrowed bits are nine. The two five five dot two five five dot one nine two dot zero. And the CI data value is eighteen. And the borrowed bits are ten. And then we shall convert, convert, convert. 255.255.255.0 and that will mean that we are at slash 20 4 and the borrowed bits will be 16. So here we shall have moved into the other octet 255.255.255.128. This will be slash 25. And the bold bits will be 17. So 255. The two five five, the two five five, the two one ninety two slash twenty six. So the bold bit will be eighteen, and we shall go up to slash thirty, and this will be two five five. Two five five, two five five, dot two five five dot two five two. Right? So this is how we can manage C I we can understand the C I D R values and at this level we have gone into default subnet mask for class, default subnet mask for class C. Right now, let us see an example and we conclude. Now, when you have that IP 192.168.10.0, slash 28, how do we perpetuate it? Now, slash 28 ideally means that it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that means slash 28 is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And at this level, our value will be 240. And this will mean that our subnet mask will be 192.168.10.240. Okay? Now, this still means that we shall have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
and this is what we are going to do. One, two, two, two. All right? Zero, zero, one, zero. Okay? And this will be zero, and this will be what? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. And we shall have sixteen. And this way we shall have thirty-two. And here we shall have zero, zero, one, one. 0, 0, 0, 0. And here we shall have mm -hmm, 48. And then 0, 1, 0, 0. Here it will be 64. Until we shall have it at 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, and it will give us 2, 40. Alright? Now, what is our block size? Block size equals, our block size will be 256 minus 240 which will be 16. First network is 192.168.10.0 and it will and uh, this will be through 192.168.10.10.15 our second network will be 192.168.10. 16 through 192.168.10. Dot 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 31. Our third network will be 192.168.10.32 dot 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 through hmm, 192.168.10. Dot 47 okay this is the network number and this is also a network number here you will have the hosts 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 and this will be our broadcast address broadcast address and broadcast address we are going to have the following subnets. Subnet 1 is dot 0, the next subnet is 16, the next subnet is 32, the next subnet is 48, up to the last one. At this level, I am very sure you can do quite a number of things when it comes to IP addressing and computer networking. Thank you.